My name is Emily Foronwell Oge of Leros Farm. So, what we want to talk about today is vomiting in catfish farming. What do you think is the reason for this vomit? Do they just vomit because they like vomiting? And what are the implications of vomiting on a catfish? What we do in Let Us Farm page is practical knowledge on agri. We share it with every one of us who is uh, an agri enthusiast. And if you have any questions, just drop it for me and I would do justice to that. And uh, if you are currently having facing any challenges in your farm, simply do a two to three minute video. Send it to 081-353-48909. And I will pick it up from there. I give you the best advice you can get anywhere on how to improve on what you are doing and this service is absolutely free remember let us farm is not forming any whatsapp group let us farm is not buying anything for anybody we are not selling anything for those who needed juvenile i simply link you up to my supplier and go and meet them and discuss so that is let us farm so we are not doing anything bringing it no that's not our business. So, let's discuss this today. What is vomiting in catfish? What do we understand by vomiting in catfish? Now, vomiting normally is throwing up. That is bringing out food that was meant to be digested. Bring it out from the mouth. That's vomiting. All right. In catfish, fishes do vomit. You may not have noticed it, but fishes vomit. Now, there are things that can make a catfish vomit. For instance, if you feed your fish, and after feeding, one hour, two hours, you want to change water, especially people in concrete pond, tarpaulin pond, tanks, and things, they must have noticed it, but they may not really take pay proper attention. So, you just feed them, after one or two hours, you want to change water. You will notice that feed that you didn't see on top of the water all of a sudden comes up on top of the water you may be wondering where did this feed come from sometimes you may even think that okay maybe they did not finish the uh, feed you gave them before no it's not that they did not finish it but they actually vomited and what causes vomiting is that fishes have a very slow digestive system so because they have slow digestive system if you don't leave them like up to six hours after feeding and you go to uh, disturb them. Because once you are changing water, you are disturbing them. If you, Anything that makes them to move is disturbance. So that's why I, I tell people that, you know, some, some people, because they, they, they are so happy, they are so fascinated with that, oh, I'm raising fish. You are so fascinated. So you like going to your pond. It's not a bad idea. To always go to your pond to look at the way. If I, I know some elderly people that have retired, what gives them joy is going to look at the fishes. It is good. But do it this way. You can go when the fishes are being fed. That time they won't have your time. Their own interest is the feeding. You can go before they are being fed. They don't have their, your time. They will be playing. Then some of them may be hungry, coming to look for food. They don't have your time. But then if you want to go there, after feeding, give them time. Normally, when you go there after feeding, some of them will not even answer you. They will be relaxing to you know get their feed digested. But then you now come, you hit on the pond. You see, that's a distraction. Because once water moves, then there will be fear. They will be panic. They will move. In that process, some may vomit. You are now discharging the water in the tank. At first, there will be no problem. But when the, the fishes now see that the water level is not going very low, there is fear, there is panic, they start moving up and down. What happens? They vomit, they throw up the, the feed. Then sometimes, you know, you will not intentionally plan it. But after feeding, you now carry somebody now, come to the pond. You people are talking, and somebody now mistakenly throws something inside by disturbing them. So you see, a lot of times we disturb these fishes without even knowing that we're actually disturbing them it's not very good why is it not very good 
you now automatically disrupt the digestion of those feed. When they vomit the feed, is economic loss. Because the money you used in buying the feed, they just threw it away, meaning that the feed will not work and the fishes are stressed out. They, if they were growing marginally at zero point something meters every second, if that thing happens, that moment, you know, it will be like a reset of the system because they will need to rest again, you know. Just put it in mind, when a human being vomits, you become weak for some time until you now rest and get yourself. Same thing happens to fish. So when they vomit, they are stressed out. They need to rest a little then before they get back their self. So these are things that you just tactically have to avoid. Some people will say, ah, we want to change water. I want to change water. Yes, apply wisdom. How do you apply wisdom? For instance, if you want to change water in the morning, if you want to change water in the morning, you can go early in the morning and change your water. Change the water around 7 o'clock. After changing that water, leave the fishes for another 30 minutes, one hour. Come and feed them. So when you feed them, then they now rest in clean water. There's no issue. Then you say, ah, I want to change water at night. What do I do? Simple. If you are feeding the fishes by 5 uh, p.m., bring it up. Feed them around 4. After feeding them by 4, don't change the water. Leave it till around 8.39. You go and feed the you go and change the water. Then some will say, no, 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 they don't have time during that day. It's simple. What you simply do is, if you don't have time and you want to change it earlier on, it's simple. You can decide to go and feed your fish by 5 p.m., leave the fishes around 11 p.m., you change your water. Simple. You can. Or you change your water by 5 p.m., around 11 p.m., you feed your fish. They will eat. They eat at night. So it's never a problem. But always try to put in that time differentials whenever you are doing that. It will help you a lot. And it will make the fishes to be less stressed. The lesser the stress you give on the fishes, the more you will see your results. Remember, all these things that I'm telling you, I'm not telling you for you to say, no, 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 I will do your own, no problem. But many people that always do what they think they know, <laughs> most of the times, the result doesn't end well and it's not good. So when you hear informations like this, they don't cost you anything. Just put it in practice and check out for the result. Then when there is no result, when you hear such things and you practice and there's no result, you come out and say, this thing is a lie. But you've not done it and you simply believe in what you, what you know, okay? It's good. So this is Let Us Farm page and like I said, we keep discussing practical knowledges to our farming problems. So if you have any of these problems or you want me to assess the growth rate of your fish, simply do a two to three minute video. Send it to 081-353-48909. Remember, this service is free. Follow us on our Facebook page, Let Us Farm, L-E-T-U-S-F-A-R-M. You can also follow us on our Instagram. We're also on TikTok. Let Us Farm is the name all through. Then on YouTube, it's still Let Us Farm. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit on the notification bell so that once we drop any video, you get to see it. So until I come your way next time, I remain yours. Well, okay, of Let Us Farm. Keep farming. Farming is a way of life. Hey, y'all, come look at this.